everyone, it's me Megan, aka Edimots FM, and today I am doing an unboxing video. So yeah, basically I got two packages in the mail today, and one is my fake blood, and one is my Edimots wig that I got from Amazon. And yeah, I'm going to be unboxing them today. And if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell for more unboxing videos like this. And this is, might be a short video because this is the only stuff I got. And yeah, and apparently I haven't done unboxing videos in a while, but because I buy a little much of stuff, but I'll be sure to make more unboxing videos in the future. So yeah, anyways, let's get to the unboxing. Starting with my fake blood. Now, I got some scissors, so we're just going to cut along here, and I'll just open it. And yeah, I bought this fake blood because I'm going to use it in Eddie's Adventure in episode 3 or 4, depending. And also, see, episode 2 was going to be uploaded, but unfortunately my friend couldn't get to go on to his one drive. So I'm going to have to re-record re it, and yeah. Anyways, let's take out the fake blood. And here it is, everyone. Pretty decent enough. You can see it's in a, a red um, capsule-like thing. And yeah. And apparently this is in China because all of the ways in Chinese. And if anyone can translate it, please let me know because I do not know what the fake blood says. But yeah, here's the fake blood, everyone. Pretty decent amount of blood. I hope this was a good purchase because look at it. How can you not have a good fake blood like this? And I got, and I'm gonna try this out on Bing Bond because, oh, yeah, I'm gonna try the fake blood on Bing Bond to see how it does. But you guys won't be able to see how I'm doing this, so I'm gonna do it under the camera so you guys can see. And I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on Bing Bond. So yeah, let's open the fake blood. Oh, and the opening is this little container of some sort. I'm going to move my other package to the side so it doesn't get bloody and I hope I don't get blood on my chair because I'm sitting in my chair right now. So yeah, it opens up like that. And apparently the fake blood went on my finger that looks like I got a cut there. Amazing fake blood. And now I'm going to put some on my finger. Oh guys, you just squeeze it on your finger. Now I'll put some on Bing Bong's tummy. And look, it's really stuck into my finger. Like real fake blood. Yeah, I know it's not Halloween, but this blood can be used as a prop. I'm just going to squirt it on Bing Bong's tummy. Okay guys, that should do for now, because, yeah, and I don't want to lose too much of the fake blood because I got it, and look at my hands right now, they really have fake blood on them. But it's okay, because I got a paper towel, so I could just wipe the fake blood off. Oh, but I'm going to need to wash my hands because it's stuck on there. Yeah. So yeah, everyone, I'll wash my hands later. And now let's look at how Bing Bong works with the fake blood. Obviously, it works pretty good. I mean, Bing Bong does have stripes on his tummy, but that's okay because it works good on Bing Bong. And I can finally use the fake blood I need to make that one scene. I'm not going to give you spoilers because I want you to be surprised. And yeah, I'll be making sure I get episode 2 of Freddy's Adventure out. It probably might be in the mall, I'm not sure, but we'll just wait and see. Okay, now I'm going to get it off of Big Bomb, and I'll have to wash him afterwards. Actually, the fake butt is coming off Big Bomb pretty nicely, because he's a toy and it could come off real nicely. Yeah, the fake butt seemed to got off of Big Bomb nice and easily. Okay. Well, that was a review of the fake blood that I got, but now it's time for the main course, which is the A. Mutton wig. So apparently I did got an A. Mutton wig. But this one's off of Amazon, and the other one I got was from a website called Light in the Box. And apparently, that wig was not close to a month since, because 
He has curly hair, if everyone doesn't notice. And yeah, and I bought it in a much gooder Eddie Munson wig, so let's see if it's any good. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I'm wearing the Eddie Munson costume. So yeah, I'll put my Eddie Munson wig on, and I'll put my costume on to see if it's good. And apparently, it just wraps perfectly. And... And look, we got Eddie Button's wig, along with some other goodies in there. So it comes in this nice big baggy. And apparently, it came with a wig cap, so I can use it to put my wig on. Oh my god, guys, I think this wig cap is basically just a cap. I think it's just a circle cap where it covers your hair completely. Holy shoot. Oh, it was like a sock to me. Oh, but it's actually a head cap. I wonder how you use it. I don't think it came with any instructions, but hold on. Wait, it says it's a two-piece set. And it says one side one size fits all, thin, silk, whatever, for wig wearers, and yeah. And it said it was two pieces, but there's no pieces. Okay guys, I'm gonna try this on. Okay, I really don't know how to put this on. Ooh. Oh I'm getting it. Okay, ugh. Kinda. Ugh. Some of my hair's not even getting in there. And I have fun and I have short hair. But yeah guys, it should look good enough, right? Yeah, it's not covering up most of my hair, but hold on, I think I could cover it up if I just Yeah, it doesn't co uh, cover up so much of my hair, but it's worth it. And it's even better than that. Um net net fish cap. Or whatever. Oh. And apparently, we have Eddie's bandana. Wow. It's so like Eddie's bandana in the show. Skulls and crossbones and everything. I can't wait to put these on my Eddie Budget pants. On my pants. No more using my other ones. I'll put it on the couch, and now for the main event, Eddie's wig. And it was like an overtopping of it. And here's the wig itself. And here's some... And as you can see, it's covered by this fishnet cap. We could just remove. So you don't actually wear this. It actually makes the head work. And here's the wig. Apparently it doesn't work anything similar to the um, reviews. I think I just bought a fake wig off of Amazon, guys. I mean, I could have, but I'm not really sure. I mean, I think it's good. <laughs> Guys, if I really made a fake purchase, then this is bad, but I think I could just use a little bit of curling. But, let me give you a comparison to my Eddie Mustard picture. So, I have this one in the wig. It doesn't really look anything like Eddie's wig. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> it just needs a little bit of curling. That's all it needs. Yeah, guys, I think this is just really a fake wig. Like, it's really not like Eddie's wig. <laughs> Man, everyone.
this unboxing might have turned into a 50 hour experience but now we're gonna be testing to see the final product of how this wig will work as Eddie Munson basically it's a good purchase and yeah all right and now I'm gonna put on my monster costume and I'm gonna show it to you guys by a good transition. Ta-da! Okay, so this wig is pretty much good, and it looks like a Mudson's wig, kinda, even though it's not curly, yeah. So yeah guys, here is my full work of me as a Mudson with the wig that I got from Amazon, and I think it looks pretty good. And as you can see, I got the bandana on, and it looks really good. I look just like a Mudson. Well, except for these shoes. These shoes I basically got from Walmart. If you, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I got in these shoes from Walmart. And I know in the show, Stranger Things, they wear the Reebok shoes. And these are not the Reebok shoes, but they're closest thing to Ace shoes. But yeah, this is me, and this is my Eddie Mudson wig I got. Yeah, it's not that curly, because, yeah, but I think it looks really good. And yeah, if we turn around, you can see the back. Yeah, if this is good, let me know. And yeah, my back with my Dino patch basically just has rips because I use paper. And yeah, and now I'm going to get my other Emerson wig that I got from Raiden Box and compare it. Okay guys, so here's the wig from White in the Box, and yeah, this wig's much more curlier than this wig I have, and yeah, but this wig totally matches a Mudson's, it's just tangled with lots of knots, and yeah. Yeah, which is, yeah, basically I don't know when I purchased this wig, but I used it for my Mudson costume in 2022. And basically, I did have this wig on, and yeah, and yeah, it's really, really messed up. But it's still good, not, not on the rest. Oh, and guys, I will be giving away this wig if you're interested. I might be doing a giveaway on this Eddie Mutsu wig that I got from my inbox, because even though I had this wig for the longest time, Mm. I might give away this wig, but this wig is pretty much not curly, but all I need to do is just use something to curl it up and it could work. Yeah, basically, it looks good, but it looks a little too worn. And this doesn't really look like any much in hair. It looks like I'm just a lady in an outfit. But yeah. Oh, and everyone... If, if I'm planning on doing a giveaway of the same Mudson wig, all you guys have to do is go to my Amazon account, and I do have an Amazon wish list, and in the wish list is some Reebok shoes that I need for my Mudson costume, and if you guys can purchase it, it's only for $120, and the total is $133.48. and and basically, if anyone purchases the Reebok shoes and gives them to me as a gift, you might win the same Mudson wig. If you are interested in doing that. And and I'll put my Amazon wish list in the description down below so you can go check it out and see what I be. But yeah, I might be doing a giveaway on my Eddie on this wig that I got from my in the box. I'm not sure. But I think we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison w with me wearing this wig and me wearing this other wig. But I think, I think that will not be a good idea. I mean, I could do a side-by-side -side comparison between me and myself with this wig, but yeah, I might just give this wig away to one of you guys. And all you have to do, guys, once again, is to go to my Amazon wish list, and you guys can make an Amazon account if you don't have one. And yeah, and if you guys have any money, or you can ask your parents, 
Ask them you want to give me the Reebok shoes from Amazon. And yeah. And yeah. And you gotta be old enough to um, enter this giveaway. So for my little audience, all you need to do is just ask them the dog's permission. But yeah, all you have to do is just go to my Amazon wish list. It's basically called Things That My Boss Can Get Me. And basically, you can go down to my wish list to find the Reebok shoes. And basically, when you get them, well, when you go to check them out, there should be an option to gift them. And if you see me, then let me know. And then once you gift them to me, they should come at my door. And yeah, basically, if you give me the Reebok shoes and there's a note in there on who wins, I will announce the winner of the contest once I receive the winner from one of you guys. So yeah, guys, be sure you enter the giveaway for this wig if you're interested. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this unboxing video with me, everyone. And I hope you guys will make sure you subscribe to my channel by hitting that circle on the top of your screen. And make sure to check out my two other videos that are in the feed. Alright, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.